this question looks like a bit of a stinker. There's a lot of numbers in here. It looks like a lot of calculations required. But actually, if you know what you're doing, this one's actually quite straightforward. So let's go through it. We're told that the company manufactures and sells a single product. In two consecutive months, it tells me the production and sales levels in units. Okay, I've got month one, month two, tells me this is about sales and production. Fine. Tells me the opening inventory at month one, 400 units. Fine. And it tells me that they calculate profit or losses under both absorption and marginal costing principles. Okay, this is clearly the exam world because no company in its right mind does this and does both systems. They follow one or the other. They either include fixed costs, fixed production overheads in the value of their inventory, that's absorption, or they follow marginal when they don't include fixed production overheads in the value of their inventory. But there's all these numbers down here where they've calculated the profits under the two systems. But I can't see how they've got to any of these numbers from the data they've given me. And actually, it doesn't matter because all I need to answer this question is I need to know the golden rule of inventory costing under marginal and absorption costing. Do you remember the golden rule? Here it is. If inventory levels rise, so my stock levels go up then it is absorption costing that will have the higher profits. And the reason for that is that more of my costs are being absorbed into my inventory and stored in my inventory. So more cost is stored in the inventory and therefore there's less cost in the income statement. And that means that I'll make more profit. I mean, obviously, the opposite is true as well. When inventory levels go down, absorption costing has the lower profit. And so what I need to do to answer this question is work out what has happened to inventory levels in each of the months. So in month one, our sales levels were 3,800 and inventory and, pro and production was 3,900. They produced more than they sold. And what happened to inventory then? If you make more than you sell, you fill up your storeroom, don't you? So your inventory levels have gone up. And when inventory levels rise, my golden rule tells me that it's absorption costing that has the higher profits. Okay. Now, how about in month two? We sold 4,400 and we didn't produce as many as that. If we sell more than we produce, we empty out the storeroom. And therefore, the inventory level goes down. And when the inventory level goes down, it's marginal costing that would have the better, higher profit. Now I need to go through each of the four options and see which of these four has fits that pattern. Where in month one, absorption costing had the higher profit. And in month two, marginal costing had the higher profit. So the first option, absorption in month one, absorption costing had a profit of 200 and marginal costing made a loss. So absorption costing is better there, isn't it? And therefore that does fit the bill. Month one absorption costing wins. What about in month two? Absorption costing made 3,200 and marginal costing did better. Okay, higher profit under marginal costing, that fits the bill as well. So option one looks like a winner, but let's go through the other three and make sure that they don't fit the bill. Okay, in this one, in month one, so the absorption costing made a loss. Marginal costing was better in month one. That does not fit with what I know from the numbers there. So the second option cannot be correct. What about down here, third one? Marginal costing makes a loss. So absorption costing makes a loss in month one of 400. And the marginal costing is better. <sighs> no, that does not fit the bill. It's absorption costing that wins in month one, isn't it? And so therefore option three can't be right. And what about option four? Well, makes a profit under absorption costing and a loss under marginal costing in month one. That does fit the bill, doesn't it? Because it, we know that in month one, it's absorption costing that wins. But in month two, the absorption costing has a profit of 4,400. The uh, marginal costing is lower. And that doesn't fit the bill. In month two, we know it's marginal costing that is supposed to win because stock levels have gone down. And therefore, option four can't be right. So we are very happy that the first one is right and the other three are wrong. Let's go with the first one.